What's going on guys, it's Vidge, and as you all may know that E3 has come and gone and there was absolutely no announcement of a new SOCOM or a SOCOM remaster. And that is 100% not a surprise. I did think that they would remaster one game and I was about 100% sure it would be Crash Bandicoot just due to there is no online play and it's much easier to remaster. So. Like I said, no surprise by Sony that they do not want to remaster one of their greatest franchise ever in the history of Sony PlayStation just due to the fact they do not want to mess with SOCOM anymore. For some odd reason, they don't want to do it. You know, I think after SOCOM 1, SOCOM 2, and it started going downhill to SOCOM 3 and combined assault, then you had uh, SOCOM Confrontation, which is which was a really good game after about a year after patches. Then you had SOCOM 4 that was completely terrible. And I think they look at the sales numbers and think, uh, this game isn't going to sell, which is, is not going to sell, but which is completely false. Look at Counter-Strike. After 15 years of Counter-Strike being out there, there's still tons of people playing Counter-Strike. And SOCOM is basically Counter-Strike in third person. And to me, it's SOCOM is much more immersive than Counter-Strike. So where Sony gets that, I don't have a clue. You know, in Call of Duty, Call of Duty is a, a good thing to look at. Look at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, okay? Or Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If, if you look on your friends list, there's nobody playing it because Call of Duty is killing Call of Duty just like SOCOM killed SOCOM. SOCOM 4 was not SOCOM at all. It was a third person shooter that had nothing to do with SOCOM. And Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 is not Call of Duty due to the double jumping, the wall running, and eventually Call of Duty will either kill itself or they will go back to the roots of Call of Duty. The Infinite Warfare, that's, that's why they had to throw in the Modern Warfare Remaster because believe me, no one was going to buy it without the Modern Warfare Remastered. I, I doubt that I would have bought it. And, the Modern Warfare Remastered, yes, I, I'll, I'll pick that up just because I was not into Call of Duty way back then. And I'm kind of curious of how good, you know, it was in its prime. So I'll probably pick that up. But getting back to SOCOM, Sony does not want to make another SOCOM. And that's due to sales. If you look at the sales numbers, and that's what they're going by. They don't, they're not going by that these games, you know, from SOCOM 3, which I know some of you really like SOCOM 3 and Combined Assault, but from SOCOM 3 to SOCOM 4, you know, Combined Assault, Confrontation, and SOCOM 4, the sales numbers definitely declined. And that's due to developers' fault, you know, the developers not making a game that we wanted. So they look at the numbers and say, hey, you know, if we bring out another SOCOM, it's only going to sell a million or so. And that's not the case at all. If they went back to the SOCOM two days, it would sell. But they have to put a quality developer behind it. They have put, you know, like Slant 6, which was a PSP developer behind Confrontation, which was a good game after a year of patches. You know, Zipper, to me, was not a good developer at all on the PlayStation 3. Mag was terrible. Personally, I thought Mag was terrible. I thought SOCOM 4 was terrible. That's the only two games that they made on the PlayStation 3, and they both of them were, te were terrible. So, to, to get back to the topic, you know, not only did they not announce a SOCOM, there is no third-person multiplayer, competitive multiplayer shooters at all. As you, as you can see in the background, this is Uncharted 4, a decent multiplayer. This to me is more of an action-adventure shooter, okay? There, there's, there's no game out there that's like a Ghost Recon or a SOCOM that's more tactical. You know, and to me, it really surprised me that Ghost Recon Wildlands does not have a multiplayer. A competitive multiplayer how in the world do you make a ghost recon game and not put a competitive multiplayer 
I'm sorry, that killed that game for me. I that that game is not on my list. I do not look forward to it. If I want to play it, I will go rent it, beat it, and take it back. It's just it's ridiculous. I don't know what these developers think, but multiplayer is what sells to millions of people. I mean, Call of Duty it does not sell just because of the campaign. That's 100% fact. You know, obviously they have zombies and they have multiplayer also. But, like I said, there is no third-person shooters, which I would say, you know, like competitive, tactical, like a Ghost Recon, SOCOM. So, you know, where, what, what's going on with the developers? They're just not making good games. It's it's almost like they're catering to the kids or they're catering to a, an age group that is doesn't even have the money to buy the games you know of course mommy and daddy but uh, again no surprise with no socom um i guess there is one tactical kind of tactical game out there which is rainbow six siege uh you know tom clancy's the the division really dude i was looking forward to that game for probably two and a half years and that you know the the core mechanics was great okay the game the game the campaign kind of was fine but it did not have a competitive multiplayer and that to me killed the division it absolutely killed it that it did not have a competitive multiplayer so you know what do we do Hey, I, I can admit that I enjoy third-person games. Some people, you know, and I enjoy first-person games, you know, shooters. But, you know, what do we have to do to get a competitive multiplayer? Obviously, Sony knows we're out here. We've been on the PlayStation blog share. We've won building the list. I mean, there's nothing else we can do, guys. As far as i'm aware we are done we have done what we have done i'm not saying we're done and we're giving up but we have done what we can do and there's nothing else we can do if they don't make it now it's just because they don't want to they want to wash their hands of socom because it was such an addictive game and that's part of why they're probably not making it because when i played socom i never bought another game and and now that I don't play SOCOM because there is no SOCOM, I that's all I do is search for the next SOCOM. So I'm buying more games. So in, the, in their aspect, it's smart for them, but it sucks for the customer, you know, for the fans of SOCOM. But I guess it is what it is. You know, I just, I, I did watch uh, Buck's video and this, it just, you know, I started thinking about all the third-person competitive multiplayers out there, and there is none. There absolutely is none, guys. So, you know, if you like this kind of content, please do subscribe, and guys, I'll see you on the next video.